climate change poses a fundamental threat globally on people, environment, economies and livelihoods of which Samoa is not an exception. Over the years, there have been substantial changes to our landscape and livelihoods, brought about by the effects of changes in weather patterns, which has resulted in the issue addressed at all levels with urgency. As a small island nation, we are faced with the stark reality of acknowledging the adversities brought about by the impacts of climate change and how it has changed our behaviors and the norms to date and our interaction with our environment. Ale fafita uli pitong honga le ole fafenga ni malala. Si dia la ona honga honga ya samba. O samba le don uli li o tu moto le pasifik. Le mu mu a fafenga ima swinga yalta. Swinga la yalta u le ta tu talano a i. Or file a masonai, or Timunga, or Matua Lilingi, or Lele, a Matula in my eye, a Tafena, a final tail, a Lele, a Fapopo Mailum or Mena, Mumel Solo. The recent International Monetary Fund reports for Samoa and the Pacific, released in June 2018, noted the country's high vulnerability to natural disasters as a major risk impacting socially and economically. The report further recommends and encourages enhancing climate resilient measures for Samoa. Among all Pacific Island countries, Samoa is one of the top three countries that suffer the most severe natural disasters. According to statistics from Meteorology Office, an average wet season rainfall amounts to approximately 350 mm per month. On average, rainfall is about 150 mm per month in the dry season. Samoa's rainfall is greatly influenced by the position and strength of the South Pacific Convergence Zone, which lies between Samoa and Fiji during the wet season. It has been projected that the intensity and frequencies of days of extreme rainfall is to increase over the course of the 21st century. With tropical cyclone projected to decline in the Southeast Pacific Ocean Basin in the course of the 21st century, there is still uncertainty as to the increase of most severe cyclones. It has been projected that the intensity and frequency of days of extreme rainfall is to increase over the course of the 21st century with tropical cyclone projected to decline in Southeast Ocean Basin in the course of the 21st century, there is still uncertainty as to the increase of most severe cyclones. Tropical cyclone affects Samoa between November and April. In the 41-year period between 1969 and 2010, 52 tropical cyclones passed within 400 kilometers of Apia, an average of one cyclone per season. The number of cyclones varies greatly from year to year, with none in some seasons, but up to five in others. The effects of climate change through the occurrence of events such as rise in sea level, longer periods of droughts, and heavy rainfall has impacted on our communities and livelihoods. <laughs> A faina ele tá pensando é o a família iva ele sou na mina a faina isso eu tato o tu não samo é em mala fala tu lá é eu não a fia ele mau lá no mato no oitai foi lançou o pai mais tem o tsunami e a fia foi tem o tem malo se mapa o na o pé vai ele malo pai pal malo ma ele ele e fala fala natura o levar nisso a tua já já a fia ainda vale fontar mafa 
The government of Samoa have taken steps further and continuously build partnerships with our development partners, such as the World Bank, village councils, women and youth groups, to work collaboratively in strengthening the resilience of Samoa. As part of the government's vision in strengthening climate change and resilience, a high level of cabinet ministerial committee is in place to ensure overall facilitation. The committee comprises of the Honorable Minister of Natural Resources and Environment, Honorable Minister of Finance, Honorable Minister of Women, Community and Social Development, and Honorable Minister of Works, Transport and Infrastructure. The National Climate Resilience Steering Committee, co-chaired by the Chief Executive Officers of the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, is responsible for overall ensuring that the interventions in place address the needs of the communities. PPCR program, the pilot program for climate resilience, Community Integrate Management Plan, for the program for the Telephone One, a swing or tap, or in Tanavangan, the open arm, and the tissue map, or not for my family program. It's easy for you to learn the swing or tap, you have to fight up in a more fall of a force. You have a new avail for time, Walter to Malo, Malo taught many no for it to not to the Yala Molatina Samoa. The government, in addition, has established frameworks to help guide the implementation of this assistance to our communities. One hundred villages and sixteen districts have been selected under the pilot program for climate resilience. Implementation of these projects will be completed by March 2020. Forty-one community integrated management plans have been developed through collaborative efforts with UNDP to cover all districts of Samoa. If I these plans aim to address the climate resilient interest and needs of the communities at large. Oleng alwenga mtafa yo yal pulenga flower inga lau ele ele tu sai mal fausi ino awala. Ole ose mtafa yo ipito ita awale mo climate resilience o nuta itasi. A project management service mechanism is mobilized to facilitate and assist the government technically and administratively. This is to support the timeliness of various outputs at village and district level. C 
CSSP, civil society organizations, government authorities and ministries are working closely with the villages and districts in implementing the projects under the program. The wing of Pokarame of Soswani there, oh my. Only make our welcome fire and fire a lot too on the face a lot too feel feeling up. For I to I in a Pokarame of Soswani, I'm more near. Ah, it was a very long of a sweet angle of town. Projects being implemented at both village and district level aims to address the priority climate resilient needs of the beneficiaries. Pokarame of Soswani. Involved by the Consumer Tuna, Lua Fisu Fit, a loss of full of your Anna, a matter of ten and lawyer, a fit to Mele at Tufalea Lily, here Malaysia, full of my tongue, my survival. All Sanko, Tassilian and Alwen Autula, only Fatima Nale or Oma, more Sui, a wife out of a civil society, community based organizations. In the year South Year, Matapena, yes, so my father of Tony. Yet more little penna in number two fat seer. Only Tam sang a four year, four four two in that two. A Tam sang a so sunny by a tattoo pa or our normal year. So swan yet more what in that is a syllab. To a great extent, these projects have facilitated and addressed the realities of the adversities of climate change in Samoa through hard and soft solutions. Se vai engomer um milho vave, pe pe a velha faz mamua e vai engolir o fofo e o polenga suavai. O leite seu a tsa mangalo enga, o tele mangalo enga fau. E o lobo na mamia e fofo anga tau tau sanga o ale faz tupeina. Nei po clame a la sosuani e polenga suavai na osia tau la enga mo vai engolir o tele suavai. E na ia faz teleina vai enga faz ma suavai e vai enga fanoe ele o ele o ei mamua le suavai. Umae <laughs> Ele ose process na ole project le le fati noi so se ngal ve ngal lava le po ai lava le fatu pe ino ye etau lava na ye se fata tan nuanga ma nu uya mai se la to mal yenga tu sai mal le awala le la le la fausia fausia ino for the village of Fasto Tai, the rehabilitation of the village spring pool has made life easier for them. Wa mau se lava noi e tu ai lo ma tu nu le vai. Alvai ne wa over male selau tu sanga o life fast to tai. Ai tai mo farma far la far natura ya apel pe pal malo. Yo i tu ma ya ya wale fong ta ma fa male fa nga ino fo i ta pe na ino ta ma fa fa pe fo i si va na na mi ai la me swa ba. Fa tai telefo i mole ne i por kala me ya wong nanga ma so so ni ta tu malo me fa. Ta wala me malo ma si se spi i wong fa yo na fe ne nu ne so so ni. Telefon tawon mahfuh na nangalul eh siapa ngai tu faliler ni vai pion ufa ya tu over macam laut tu sanga wala ni nuk ni nuk vai ni. Bila tu vai suai ingol tau malah telefon suai ingol ni tau malah malu suai mungalam si cengat oleh suai tau malah uti uti oleh suai vai tau maf. Lewa tu si elit tu fai sahilian ni sosan. Awal tu faliler oleh vai ni tu wala nuk. Pah ini pel vai el malu. Mafai cici oleh suai vai awal tu fon tau maf. Olona tahu, mungkin orang faham aina. 
Water rationing has been an ongoing issue for the village of Aopo on the big island of Savai. The village of Satitoa has been dependent on fishing and agriculture in many years. Much of its marine environment had been destroyed in the 2009 tsunami. Samoa will continue to address climate change as a priority issue nationally across all its sectors. The impacts on the economy, environment and livelihoods of our people are unavoidable. Major setbacks have been experienced and dealt with over the years. The need to strengthen resilience measures is paramount. Tawale <laughs> 